or more profoundly disappointed and sad that the government of this enlightened country, should in the October of 2008, decide on two things. One was to employ the terrorist legislation which was created to defend against Al-Qaeda and Taliban against Iceland and put my country, the government, and the entire system on the, on the official website, the British government website, side by side with uh, Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. And the second thing was that Gordon Brown, in October, and Alistair Darling went on global television, including CNN, and stated that Iceland was a bankrupt country, which was utter nonsense at its best, financial terrorism on their part at its worst. And this meant that companies all over the world who had had dealings with Iceland closed their operation down so the British damaged our economy to a greater extent than otherwise would have been the case. So why not just simply say, you, your banks wouldn't reimburse if it was elsewhere, our banks, everyone knew the risk, were not paying. Good morning. On you go. Well, there are a number of people in my country who are saying exactly that. Why don't you do who that? Who are saying that ordinary people, taxpayers, should not be you're put being, in a position to show that... Yes, but Iceland's being bullied at the moment. Of course we are being bullied, of course. And the, the British and the Dutch are using their influence within the IMF to prevent the IMF programme from, from going forward. So we have a situation where a small nation is in fact ready to shoulder part of this burden, but doesn't, don't, doesn't want to be put in a corner where the very survival of its economy in the next 10 years would be uh, at stake. Is there a contradiction between 